What's up guys, Anton here at DPR, and I have to admit, the Canadian weather is not meant for everyone. A disaster happened last week. If you're ready, let's jump right into that. So guys, as I've said, a uh, disaster happened last week. Uh, we were hit by some of the worst Canadian weather that you can imagine. Uh, we had a cold wave. We had temperatures uh, going under minus 35 degrees Celsius, which is about minus 30 um, Fahrenheit, crazy, crazy low temperatures. Um, and you would imagine at that point that, you know, you want to have your incubator, your room, uh, your isolation from for your building, everything nailed down and perfect. And just a few days before that cold weather came here in, uh, in Quebec, uh, or basically our incubator is not a box incubator, it's a whole room. Um, and our heater for that room uh, started failing. It was really showing signs that we have to replace it. And it's really not the best time when you have, you know, a cold weather coming. Um, so we changed that and we changed, we bought a new heater for that. We, for a couple of days, we just like try to figure out what was the best temperature. But we had eggs in that incubator because basically our season is spread out and we had two clutches or two first clutch of 2023. We're inside of that incubator. Um, plus some leopard gecko clutches from NBK reptiles. Basically, they want to have like hot males, uh, just incubate them hotter to have males, but that's out of the subject. And, you know, we were there and we we're trying everything. And when the cold weather started, so the first day that the weather actually arrived, um, our heater with a thermostat kind of failed. And I've been waking up by Brian with a text uh, that the incubator was at 16 degrees Celsius, which is about 62 Fahrenheit. Um, crazy, crazy, absolutely crushing news that you really do not want to have when you start your day, when you know that there's a cold weather coming like that. Um, rushed here, we arranged everything. Everything was back on track, but I would say that it was about 12 hours that this incubator went at that temperature. Then uh, the eggs were due in, uh, one of the clutches was due uh, next week. So the week after that, basically this week and the other one in two weeks. So they were almost at full term, but it was really, really stressful to have those eggs put into that situation. And honestly, guys, I had zero hope that they would actually survive. But let's check if we actually did manage to save those babies by uh, avoiding to get too cold and rising those temperatures very slowly. And the sad thing is that we've actually been waiting for a couple years for that pairing. We actually uh, tried three times to get that female going with that male. Um, maybe another male would have been better, but I really wanted to do that one. So that's what it was. Uh, so basically the male was a uh, cinnamon red stripe yellow belly clown to a banana blade head clown. Uh, love the banana red stripe clown combos and uh, really wanted to see that whole interaction. Nine eggs from a first time female. It's really cool because we actually did manage to avoid the worst and um, like terminate the life of those babies. They did pip and we cut after the first pip at day 64. So that's one thing um, why in the winter, especially here, since we have a bigger room, sometimes our temperature will go a little bit lower. So we don't want to um, rush anything and cut before. And we have that clutch and it's cool because it's the very first time that I'm taking a look at them uh, after coming out of the egg. And they seem formed, no kinks, no uh, shark mouth or anything, they're, they're just perfectly fine. I mean, just a drop of temperature like that at this stage wouldn't affect it that much. Um, but we did hit some crazy odds and let's jump right into that though. Um, so nine eggs and we did hit seven out of nine as visual clowns. Uh, and the other two are actually visual bananas. Well, visual banana, you can't really have not a visual banana, but you know, I really, really crushed it. This one here in my hand is a banana cinnamon clown. Uh, this one here crawling is a banana red stripe clown. Um, if we check it out here, this is the all stacked animal. This is a banana cinnamon red stripe yellow belly clown. I'm pretty sure about that one. Uh, then here we have just a, like a banana cinnamon, possibly red stripe. Uh, here we got a cinnamon yellow belly clown. Love those combos. They look absolutely amazing. These two eggs are empty. Here's a banana heck clown. This was my absolute favorite. This is a banana red stripe 
yellow belly clown look at that head guys the colors are insane i don't know if the camera is really picking it up but in person like you know some of those bananas can glow like crazy and this one is definitely glowing um here it's a banana cinnamon potentially well i mean it's either yellow belly or red stripe kind of leaning towards being yellow belly so banana cinnamon yellow belly clown and this one here uh that one in the egg is a banana red stripe yellow no banana this one here is a red stripe yellow belly clown so absolutely killed uh the odds with this clutch and the amazing thing is that the female was the banana so basically all of those are female maker uh even if some are males uh, it's it's just a absolutely banger clutch so i might just be keeping that one and all the rest of the clutch is going to be available i think um nonetheless i'm super stoked that this clutch didn't go bad and with that being said uh, i'd like to talk a little bit about uh why this happened and how can you avoid it we always learn through the years i mean it's my eighth season breeding ball pythons it's my first time that this happened i mean i've had plenty of things that did happen to me in the past it's not overly dramatic because well 16 degrees uh, Celsius is absolutely terrible, but it's not the end of the world. I'm really surprised that um, these animals are so sturdy and did like go through that. The thing that really helped us is actually that our incubator, it's a big room, so it's not a tiny incubator where if the temperature shuts down, the temperature will go from uh, 89 to super low, um, right in a matter of like an hour. With that bigger space, we did manage to have uh, a much, you know, slower drop of temperature, and we did rise that temperature slow as well. So with any reptiles, you don't want to boost the temperatures right away and, and get a big shock. Uh, so I think that this might be one of the factors that did save this clutch. We'll see for the next one. It hasn't popped, uh, pipped up yet. I did put my light over and uh, I saw movements. Everything still looked good. So I'm, I'm really hopeful that they will actually make it. Uh, but I'm going to let them pip the same way. There's never anything wrong with having backups. We should have had a backup heater inside of that room. Uh, that's definitely one thing that we should have had and uh, it, it, we, we will have that in the future actually we have it right now so that's definitely things that you know when something can go wrong prepare that it will and already try to have that solution for when it goes wrong that way you will save a lot of headaches you will save a lot of stress and uh, this outcome turned out great but it's not always the case um, you can lose a lot of animals and this is the thing we want to avoid. We worked so hard for those clutches, we worked so hard for those babies. Um, it's about four years raising that female, breeding her, getting those eggs, incubating them for two months, and right one week before they hatch, all dead, and you hit and you hit seven out of nine clowns, crazy combos. That would have been a heart crusher. So I'm I'm really happy that it did uh, turn out well, but I'm gonna take that as a lesson and definitely make sure that for the future, this is one thing that I'm gonna have. Uh, and I'm going to have to keep both eyes on. And I really suggest you guys, it can be from thermostats to your room heater to uh, a fan or isolation or whatever. Just double check everything that can go wrong and you won't have any bad surprises. And on this, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I really, really hope that you can come out of listening to this video with some valuable information about uh, what you can really do to protect your collection. And this is super important. And on this, uh, if you enjoyed, be sure to follow us on Instagram. Go check our Morph Market for available animals. A lot of these babies will be available. I haven't checked the sexes yet, but send me a DM if you're interested into the Banana Red Stripe Clown Project. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily ball python, well, weekly ball python videos on this. Cheers and stay tuned.